Is this tea? No? It's water. Okay. Hello, welcome back to Action News. I'm Arthur. Any more donuts? And our top story for today takes us to the land of Jerusalem. And we're going to go live to Anita Anchor. Anita, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, hi, Arthur. I'm here in Jerusalem outside the city where you can see there is a lot of construction going on. Let's take a look at what's been happening here the past few weeks. The people of Jerusalem have been working day and night to rebuild the walls surrounding the city. Afraid of attack from their enemies, they will not stop till the work is completed. And leading their charge is Nehemiah, a cupbearer to the king. Before construction began, he gathered the people together. People of Israel, you see the trouble we're in. Jerusalem lies in ruins with its gates burned. Let's join together to rebuild the walls so that the people around us will no longer make fun of us and our God. Huzzah! Huzzah! And the people took to that charge. Yeah, when he said all that, we were also encouraged that we all said together, let us rise up and build. And we got ready to build. So as you can see, Arthur, the construction of the wall is underway, and the hope is that... You've got it all wrong, lady. Um, I'm sorry, sir. Can I help you with something? You've got the story all wrong. They are all rebelling against the king. And I told them that, but they keep on building. So then I planned an attack. You planned an attack against Israel. Yes. But then they got these guards and men with swords and spears, so I called it off. When they build, half the people work on the walls while the other half guard with spears and shields and bows and arrows. So you're not going to attack? Why would I? with all their guards and swords. i never win, and their leader, Nehemiah, he is rebelling against the king and tricking him to do what he wants to do. You need to report on Nila. And, and what's your name, sir? Sanballat. Aren't you an, is, uh, an enemy of Israel? Ah, uh, so what if I am? <laughs> I think you have it all wrong, Sanballat. Nehemiah isn't the one that's in charge. It's God. What? Nehemiah told me how he prayed to God for favor with the king, and God worked in the heart of the king to send him here to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. God did this because Jerusalem is an important part of God's plan. Israel's God is behind all this? Oh no, I must go alert my people. Oh. Well, Arthur, there seems to be many things working against Nehemiah as he tries to rebuild the walls. <laughs> but he and the people know God has called them to do it. They keep praying, working hard, behaving wisely, and relying on God for the outcome. I am Anita Anker, reporting live from outside the almost rebuilt walls of Jerusalem. Back to you in the studio. Well, thank you, Anita, for that rather strange report. I look forward to getting an update on the progress. Let's circle back. And to our viewers at home, what a great reminder for us to know that God works through people to accomplish his redemptive plan. And that is a wrap.